It is me, JP, and today we'll be carrying on with Hashit's Root Master Landing Bus, stage 42. Today we'll be fitting the cab grill and wiring the subframe. Oh no, wires! So, let's get building. Too close the camera. Name those parts. Front lower deck, engine cover, and screws. That was quick. But what we need is this lovely beast. And what we're doing is we're putting a sticker, sticker over this, for some unknown reason. So the one from the previous issue, the little one, where the little bridge part is, right at the front, wants us to put it there for some unknown reason. Um, oh, that's a bit fiddly. I'll be right back. Okay, what you do is loosen the screw a bit here and then put that sticker in. Um, why it didn't do that in the stage we've done this, I do not know. As you can see, the sticker is now on that floor pan, so it won't short out when you press it. Again, why we're doing it now and not when we installed it, I have no idea. Next, we'll be putting this lovely thing into this lovely thing. Okay, we're going to slide this so these will go into this hole here. This hole here. Hopefully. So I'm going to use gravity as our friend. That has to go in there. Oh, come on. That was fighting me. That was fighting me, but I got it in. Now, be held here with some TM screws from the last issue. Dip. Dip. So now that should look like that. Oh, look at that, very good. Very delicious. Now we need the chassis, everybody. I haven't seen that for a while. So I'll just move this out of the way. 
So what I want us to do next is just take these out of the way for a minute. Let's put these on here. Hmm. Strange but true. Like so. And now we put what we just finished on the chassis. This is going to be fun. So this is an instructions in red. This is a tricky stage and before starting it is essential, essential everybody, that you study the next few steps. This is because several parts need to be placed at the same time with other parts. Take particular care of the parts circled in the bright blue. So. So this is this part here, and this part here. So this has got to be fun, isn't it? So, oh, I don't know how to suggest this, how to do this first, uh, but we need to put this in there, uh, okay. Oh, this is really fun. Let's see if we can get the, the bulb in first. Let's see if we can do the top camera. So what I'm going to do is turn this on its side. So we can try and get this bulb in. Sticking out here with some tweezers. So help with the tweezers. The light bit is in. Next is putting the cap on and then attaching these pieces to the engine. Wish me luck. Well, this came off. So let's put this where it's supposed to go and then attach this to this and then put it in. Hopefully that will work. Let's make the hole bigger. Just doesn't want to go. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. So I switched it this way now. Still struggling with this piece. A few moments later. But I will prevail!
done it. Um, that took me a good 25 minutes to do that for that little small piece to get it in where everything is. Now we secure everything to the chassis. So in the cab, there are three FM screws. One, two, three FM screws. Let's get them out. Let's get the radio screws out. Dip. On the other side, uh, some CM screws. So after you do that, which I already did, you put, get my little torch, CM screw in there, little hole there and a CM screw in here and then a radio screw an FM screw in here now when now it's all done time to sort the wires dun, dun, dun. As you can see, it's just a mess. So what we do is to channel the wires down here. So let's have a look, see what we got. All of them are labelled. So let's find A first. Here we are, A. Oh, it's all tangled all over the place. Here we go, A. Uh, in this thread area black and yellow cable B E so the red cable and then the C2 there we go so they will all go out here Come out here, then go out this way. So now we connect the one that we got last issues. C1 and 2. Connect the C2 together. Of course it is directional. There you go. And the C1 together. There we go. Like so. So that hopefully go here. Of 
course that will go in there that will go along there but we'll do all the wire tidy soon then we put these from our last issue all along here one two three and four Oops. three and four and they'll be secured with CM screws so I'll do that and I'll be back soon but before I do that I've got to uh, connect the C cable together Again, directional. There we go. And now we'll put the cable tidy and every all that good stuff. Back in a moment. And I'm back. As you can see, nice wire tidy. I put some extra tape just to make sure it'll stay in one place. And it comes out all the way at the back. And the last in this issue, we need a GM screw to put the steering column on. This piece will go in today. Turn the Steering so it'll level up as well. Now we should have hopefully let's let's put them on these. Lift it up. Okay, it doesn't totally work, but oh well. I won't be using it anyway because if you remember my last issue the uh, screw didn't work very well and I had to get another screw by the looks of it, it doesn't work very well either you can see it turns a little bit as soon as it gets to there it's just a bit tight it does work And then next is wants us to do is get this piece that will probably go here eventually. Ooh. And this piece basically slides in. That's all we do in this stage. Well, I hope you enjoyed that exciting episode of Spider Sprue. With all those wires and trying to put this, this took me two days to do. Yes, because it was stubborn. Anywho, can't fault it, it's a fantastic build. And if you'd like to get this from stage one, in the description down below is links to where to get it. Look into my eyes and don't forget to subscribe. Ooh, ooh. Too close to the camera. <laughs>